These days, our digital world is overrun with new apps and tools that claim to make your work life easier, more efficient, and help you maximize your productivity. But which ones do you actually choose? Well, I can help. Whether you are a creator, a solopreneur, a business owner, or just wanna simplify your daily admin, these are the apps I love to use that I think you should be checking out in 2023 to do more with less. We'll cover AI and automation to the best no-code website builders and organization apps. This video is the overview of the most exciting options I found to create yourself an essential digital productivity toolkit in 2023. Everything's listed in the description. If you want to check it out, let me know what else should be added to that list in the comments. And thank you to what has been my go-to file sharing and collaboration app for years, Dropbox, for sponsoring a portion of this video. AI assistance. We have to start here, don't we? I mean, AI is absolutely everywhere at the moment. And I think for good reason. I tried using AI for a day recently as an assistant, and it was actually incredible how much I could get done. If you know how to use it, that is, do check out my video on that after this. But these are my favorite apps you should definitely take a look at. Chat GPT has to be an obvious place to start, and you've got to give it a go while it's in free preview and testing. Try asking it to create something for you, describing what you want it to do in steps followed by saying, do you understand at each step? This is a great tip. It will feed back to you what it thinks you mean, and the process seems to set up the system to be focused on what you really want to achieve. I did it to create this list of decision-making frameworks for a Notion template system I've been developing, and the results were pretty incredible. It outlined and wrote a lot of great stuff. Some of it was wrong, so you do have to fact check. And Notion AI is now also available to all users. Go and give it a go. It's based on the same GPT-3 system. It's brilliant because it will help you work faster in Notion if you are a regular user. I understand it will even now create and fill out databases for you. You get 20 prompts free, and then can pay a small subscription a month for continued access. And I think that's worth it if you regularly create or write in Notion. If you wanna mess around with visuals or explore design for a creative project, check out Midjourney. You might have heard of it, but you can essentially prompt it to create incredible AI art or even use it to come up with design ideas for a new website. Next, online workspaces. So this channel is known for using Notion as a live operating system, but I'm also paying close attention to the potential developments happening with Microsoft Loop this year. I released a video in the middle of 2022 asking whether Loop was about to become the next big Notion competitor for organizing all your information in one place. And you know what? Microsoft definitely seemed to be making moves this year, first with their Bing AI integrations and most promisingly in my eyes with these new possibilities offered by Loop. Jump onto your Word, Outlook, or Teams account if you have one, and see if you can spot these loop components that let you share polls, tables, and votes with other collaborators directly in those other apps. I love the idea, and things can only get more intriguing in the coming months, so get subscribed here to stay in the loop. Speaking of collaboration, with more and more of us finding at least part of our work and collaboration becoming more remote, finding a place to bring everything together in one place is increasingly important. Along with my Notion workspace, for years now, Dropbox has been my go-to place for remote file sharing and collaborations. So I was really chuffed when they reached out to partner on a video. Given how they are literally the main reason I've been able to work with my video editing colleagues and theatre producers this year remotely. I love how I can either be added to an editor's workspace or I can invite a new editor to a folder in my first editor's workspace so that we can all share the same assets. It's really useful in the way that you can jump between different people's accounts. It's meant we've easily been able to share assets and get new team members up and running around the work we're doing quickly and easily. Dropbox seems to be, in my opinion, the most consistent and usable option I've found for sharing quick permissions and access to data so far. But what I'm enjoying is that it also goes a lot further than that, enabling particularly asynchronous working. This is what's so important these days, right? You wanna be able to catch up on work with your team in a way that suits you. Here are some cool ways you can use Dropbox that you may not be aware of. Did you know you can capture things? You can make communications understandable with screen recordings, GIFs, screenshots, voiceovers, markups. It's a really good way to replace those lengthy emails and meetings and just mark up files in the system. I can add a little video recording of myself and a screen capture. And if I use the draw tool, I can show you what I'm talking about. 
which I think is really good. And this is me using a 4K webcam and a Rode mic through Dropbox Capture, where you can capture video, GIFs, you can mark things up. It's a really, really useful tool. Uh, so yeah, look at that simple, easy, accessible capture. Dropbox Sign can now help you prepare, send and sign and even track agreements with legally binding signatures. Particularly helpful now I'm starting to sign a couple of NDAs on new products that I'll be showing to you later on the channel. Send documents, you can do that securely and track activity with DocSend, a beautiful option for business owners. And let's not forget backup. I've also recently been using Dropbox to automatically back up important files on my devices and then I can always restore them with that backup. You're going to save yourself from those seriously annoying accidental deletions. Whatever your use case, I use it every week and it's an easy recommendation. No code landing pages and website creation is all the rage at the moment and for good reason. They really do look like the right way forward for most people. Here's a few that have caught my eye this year. Type Dream, they seem amazing to create really good looking landing pages really fast. I love that they offer Notion themed templates for websites if you're looking for a quick and easy way to create a landing page, portfolio or storefront. It's kind of a simplified version of something like Webflow that could be a perfect balance for many people. And then Super. It's well worth checking out if you are a Notion obsessive. It draws Notion pages and databases into beautifully designed public facing website pages. So if you use Notion to manage anything, this is a fantastic option to create websites easily, but then be able to update them regularly and simply in your Notion workspace. I know that Francesco from Keep Productive uses this for their kind of database of great productivity tools. And I think it's really a good example of this in action. So I'll link his website below and you can check out more great productivity apps and tools on that website. This is a quick one to drop in about automatic meeting bookings. If you don't use one of these, you should. It saves you the pain of those back and forth email chains trying to find the right moment to meet. I personally use Calendly, which offers a pretty functional free service and is definitely the best place to start. You can set your availability, link it to your Google Calendar, and it will then display that availability around when you're free and the timeframes that you set for yourself. It's great for offering like office hours or simply using it as a booking system for consulting, coaching, courses, whatever. The best thing about it though is it will integrate with your Google Meet or Zoom account, generate the meeting ID and send it to both people and away you go automated meetings sorted. And automation is clearly a big theme for 2023 for online businesses, creators, solopreneurs, whatever. If you have not explored the world of Zapier or maybe Bidean.ai, then you should. Here's what I mean by an automation service and why it might be useful. It can help you reduce the daily admin, the busy work that you really don't need to spend your time on. One of my favorite use cases is each time I make a sale on a sales platform, I can automatically sign someone up to my mailing list with an opt-in email via Zapier into my mailing list provider, and it will link my customers into the other content and freebies that I want to offer them in order to go above and beyond. Number two might be to automate your bookkeeping and accounting. Discovering Zapier integrated with Xero was a game changer for me. It allows me to set up automations across all of my systems, and then I don't have to manually input income and expenses. Nice. And finally, by dn.ai, you can do things like automate entries into your Notion habit tracker. And my favorite use case is how you can set it up to remind you and the person you're meeting to come to that meeting that you put into Calendly. It's a Google Chrome extension and really worth checking out. They're also doing some really exciting stuff with AI, so check out buddyin.ai. Well, if you found this list valuable, make sure to boop that like button. I'd be really grateful. I'd also love to hear your alternatives to what I've listed here in the comments. And of course, go and check out bettercreating.com. Definitely the place to go if you wanna find out more about Notion productivity and see my latest Notion Second Brain, a complete life operating system built entirely in Notion to organize your life with. You can see more about what that's all about here and why I think Notion could be the most brilliant tool for you to get organized in one place. It would be awesome if you left a comment and subscribed and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.